but all week long here on Total Access, we've been focused on the NFC West and how your team can make a playoffs. There you see the standings from last year, and uh, Davey and I have decided that, hey, let's keep with the NFC West theme, and let's rank these quarterbacks. I like rankings. We like lists. We Absolutely. like ranks. It's the Clearly. off season. It's what we do. So uh, why don't you get us start off here with the, the, the fourth best quarterback in this division. You got it, man. Sam Bradford is my guy, number four. Talent-wise, accuracy-wise, he's off the charts. The biggest deal with Sam has been health, and that's the yeah. hardest part. But when you watch this guy play, you got play-action pass, one-on-one -on -one coverage, man about to hit him in the face, still able to put an accurate throw pretty much on the money, over a defender, right in stride, huge play. These are the type of plays Sam Bradford makes routinely, actually. I mean, consistently really he's on the field. Really accurate throw. Very accurate throw. That's really pretty, but his forte all his whole career. Here's another one. High-lowing a cornerback from the 24-yard line is something that is frowned upon in this establishment, especially when the cornerback is looking at the quarterback. But he still makes the throw to the sideline pretty much with six, eight inches. I don't even know a foot of clearance. Puts it right where he has to. Honestly, I don't know a lot of guys that would even attempt that throw, but he has a lot of confidence where he can put the football accurately from the pocket so man if he could stay healthy he would easily climb up this list but he's, he's got to stay healthy and he's got to win games it's crazy to me that Sam Bradford has never had a winning record that is his crazy. entire career Actually, yes, you know, if he's played more than five games so all right number three how about Jimmy Garoppolo we've got a huge sample size with Sam Bradford not a huge sample size from Jimmy, Jimmy Garoppolo but I really like his accuracy and I like his understanding of the defenses and how to work the offense so this red zone throw right here, right? he's reading that linebacker the whole way. Mm -hmm. He probably should have got the ball to the tight end right here. Yep. That's where this play is designed to go. But look at him ad lib here, all right? Tom Brady's not giving you this. Now he right, rolls out of the pocket, buys a little time. Take a look so at this hard. grabbings right here. All right, we just went inside the face mask and this throw over the underneath defender and in front of the behind defender. So Incredibly that's a difficult. really accurate throw. And as you know, where's, what's he doing? Rolling to the left. It's literally the, the most difficult throw that I saw even last year. I mean, that's rolling to your left, flipping your hips like that is incredible. That's unbelievable. Play action pass now. This right here, he's got an opportunity with a great pocket to read the safety. Now all he's saying is, can I fit this sideline throw in? A little wheel route here to his running back. And again, another accurate throw. He's trying to fit this ball in and he's getting be smacked. before that safety can get over there and make the play. So a big time throw right there on play action. Jimmy's got a big time upside. Super excited to see what he does. He, he could end up being a little bit higher depending on how yeah. the season goes. But how about number two? I agree. Jared Goff's number two for us. Um, Jared is is obviously two years ago it was difficult, it was rough for him. The offense comes in. Sean McVay is, is a wizard. I mean, he's unbelievable. But also, you have to be, you have to have some sense. Right here, you're trying to throw a one step quick slam the goal line. But the defensive end is in the way. He's in the lane. They actually called this defense to pick this ball off and go 99 yards. Jared sees that, mm. understands he's even one short in protection. Patience. Still sits in there, knows he's going to get hit. Flat-footed, not afraid, delivers an accurate throw for a touchdown. A lot of guys would throw a pick six the other way. Not That's Jared the difference that in the rookie to the sophomore. No right? doubt about it. Absolutely. Waiting Experience and understanding what they're doing. Here's nice play-action pass. You have a single safety in the middle of the field. That box is where he wants to throw the ball. Sammy Watkins took an inside release. He's a long way from that. Jared gets hit in the midsection and delivers a dime. Probably the dime of the year. The best throw that I saw last year mm. was that one right there because of the inside release of Sammy Watkins. Still, I know where I have to throw this football, and he puts it right on the money. Jared Goff, fast rising star. He definitely knows where the sun rises and sets. All right, oh, now to number one. There. I think this was shot. pretty unanimous here. Dangerous Russell no Wilson. Doubt, no doubt. Did anybody do more than Russell Wilson with less than last year? And, and so I, here's one of the things I love about Russell Wilson. Yeah, he can make plays run out of the pocket, but he sees that initially it was going to look like a blitz, but now they drop the, all these defenders. They're trying to take away the underneath throws. He buys time within the pocket and still finds a way on third and nine to get the ball to Doug Baldwin. Those are plays that Russell so Wilson, dangerous. I mean, he does them every single week. We almost, we become numb to them. Mm -hmm. The fact that he can do that. Now, here's a, a great throw right here where it's all just staying inside the pocket, reading the defense. He knows he's got man-to-man -man coverage right here. Tight end and the running back, they're hooked up. All he's doing is reading this deep safety and seeing, hey, if he stays there in the middle of the field, I've got a window and I'm just going to throw the heater right here and put it on my tight end. It's a great so, job holding him, too, right there. I mean, it's fantastic. To next, next level stuff. He understands how, how the defense are trying to play him, and he understands, just like David said, how to hold the safety and fit it right in there. I tell you, this division, it's when you look fun. at all four of these quarterbacks, and then you maybe even throw Josh Rosen in there if Sam Bradford doesn't stay healthy, uh, these defenses are going to have their work cut out. Oh, no doubt. It's going to be exciting. Guys. A lot of these guys rising stars. I mean, these guys could turn into all pro players in, in that division. That'd be, that'd be tough. All right. Pretty fun little Friday here for the NFC West. Back to you, Cole.